So I'd like to turn to the topic of segregation. What I find interesting is that, according to some metrics, in this country, racial segregation has become worse rather than better. Just a simple example. In 1988, 43% of black students were in majority white schools. Today, that's gone down to 23%. Now, we have an African-American president. In some ways, the country seems less prejudiced. How has this happened? What has gone wrong? <clears throat> My opinion on that is the fact that uh, the Voting Rights Act and the Civil Rights Act led to other acts that tried as hard as they could to eliminate um, segregation in housing, the practice of redlining and those types of things where uh, blacks and other minorities were denied access to neighborhoods that had been all white. So now that we've dealt with that situation uh, changing for a good 30 years or so. Um, all of the, well, I say the majority of the housing uh, patterns that have developed from that is what we used to call de facto seg segregation. Right. People moving to where they want to move and living with the people that they want to live with. And maybe, and this is just a maybe, but I, I think it's pretty accurate, maybe that has caused another uh, round of de facto seg segregation where people now are living where they want to live, but um, the racial makeup of the neighborhood or, or, or the composition of the neighborhood is still quite similar to when uh, segregation was the law and um, people didn't self-segregate. So I think that's what it's all about.